The Type 212A class is among the best air-independent diesel-electric submarines in the world. Its innovative features have the potential to change underwater warfare concepts. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Type 212A class, the pinnacle of German submarine technology. The Type 212A is the first submarine class equipped with fuel self-propulsion system. Italy defines it as the Todero class. Ten boats have already been commissioned and another four will join the fleet until 2031. Besides, six Type 212CD class submarines, bigger sisters of the Type 212A, will be built for Germany and Norway. When the German Navy was formally re-established in 1956, its primary mission was to help secure the Baltic Sea in case of a war. So, Germany designed and built attack submarines suitable for the coastal waters, such as the Type 201, Type 205 and Type 206 classes. When the German Navy staff began a study for the replacement of the Type 206 class in the early 1980s, they considered a new boat with both coastal waters and open sea capabilities. It would be based on the commercially successful Type 209 class and have an air-independent propulsion system, shortly AIP. The new design was called the Type 212 class. So, a consortium of HDW, Ferrostal and IKL began to work on a fuel cell AIP system. In 1983, the first system with 104 kW was built for land tests. Three years later, another AIP with the same performance was installed on board the Type 205 class submarine U-1. The trials continued until 1988. After the fuel cell AIP works were completed successfully, the final program was initiated in 1994 with the participation of Italy. The German and Italian navies had different requirements. So, the new boat design was made based on the TR-1700 class built for the Argentine Navy. This design was also used for the Dolphin-class submarine of the Israeli Navy. Due to this significant change, the new submarine was defined as the Type 212A class. On April 22, 1996, Germany and Italy signed a Memorandum of Understanding for building four vessels for each country. Two years later, Berlin and Rome placed an initial order. The German submarines were built by HDW and Tusin Notziwerki GmbH, while the Italian ones were Fincantieri. The first German Type 212A class submarine, U-31, was laid down on July 1, 1998, launched on March 20, 2002 and commissioned on October 19, 2005. The first Italian Type 212A class submarine, Salvatore Todero, was laid down on July 3, 1999, launched on November 6, 2003 and commissioned on March 29, 2006. The pressure hull and internal fixtures of the Type 212A class submarine are made of non-magnetic steel, which protects it from magnetic sea mines. Besides, the construction material dramatically reduces the detection risk by magnetic anomaly detectors. There is a special plastic cover on the boat's surface to lower its radar cross-section. The submarine has a prismatical hull cross-section and smoothly fair transitions from the hull to the fin sail, which improves its stealth. Thanks to the X-shaped rudder design of the Type 212A class, all four control surfaces can be used for both turning and depth control. This design also allows the submarine to be operated in shallow waters as little as 17 meters of depth. So, German Type 212As can pass a strategic point in the Baltic Sea submerged. Besides, thanks to this feature, the submarine can come much closer to shore, which gives it a critical advantage for special operation and surveillance missions. The front depth control surfaces are mounted on the pin and sail to reduce flow noise on the hull. This design improves the submarine's sonar capabilities while lowering detection risk by passive sonars. The Type 212A class has a 7-blade large inclined non-cavitating propeller which makes it even quieter. The second batch of German submarines is fitted with the cylindrical propeller Boss Vortex Diffuser System, shortly PBVD, which decreases turbulence and cavitation further. It also improves propulsion efficiency and thrust. The hallmark of the Type 212A class is undoubtedly its Siemens AIP system with proton exchange membrane compressed hydrogen fuel cells. There are separate oxygen and hydrogen tanks outside the crew space 
between the pressure hull and outer light hull. The gases are piped through the pressure hull to the fuel cells and their reaction generates electricity and creates only water and oxygen as waste. The Type 212A's AIP system does not emit heat and pump noise, which makes passive tracking difficult when traveling at slow speeds. The proton exchange membrane compressed hydrogen fuel cells have a much lower risk of leakage than liquid electrolytes. They have low operating temperature, which allows them to reach a suitable temperature with less heating than other fuel cell types. They offer high energy densities compared to the solid oxide ones. On the other hand, water management of proton exchange membrane compressed hydrogen fuel cells AIP system is difficult since water in the membrane is attracted toward the cell's cathode through polarization. The Type 212A class uses its AIP system for silent, slow cruising while high-speed cruise requires operating the diesel engine. The submarine can be submerged for up to three weeks using its AIP system. A continuous underwater cruise reduces the time. Still, in 2013, a U-32 of the German Navy established a new record for non-nuclear submarines with 18 days in submerged transit without snorkeling. Currently, the Type 212As have lead-acid batteries. In the future days, they will receive new and more powerful lithium-ion ones that can also be charged faster. The Type 212A has the TAS-3 passive low-frequency towed sonar array housed in the fin sail. Its location makes it clear of the propeller when deployed. The FAS-3 passive low and medium frequency sonar is mounted on the hull. The submarine also has the MOA-3070 mine detection sonar dual mounted in different locations on the hull. The Type 212A class has the I-band Calvin Hughes Type 1007 navigation radar on the mast. The six 533mm torpedo tubes of the submarine have an asymmetrical arrangement due to space requirements. Four are staggered to the port and two are to the starboard of the center line. They feature water pressure launching systems. The German Navy uses DM-2A4 ZH torpedoes while the Italian Navy prefers the Black Sharks. The Type 212A can also lay up to 24 sea mines. The complement of the Type 212A class is 27 people. The submarine has a length of 56 meters a beam of 6.8 meters and a drought of 6.4 meters. Its surface displacement is 1,524 tons, while its submerged displacement is 1,830 tons. The propulsion system consists of one 2,883 horsepower MTU 3.96 16V diesel engine and one 3,822 horsepower Siemens Type FR 6439 3,900 kW Permisen electric motor. Its maximum surface speed is 12 knots, while its maximum submerged speed is 20 knots. The range of the Type 212A class is 8,000 nautical miles, in other words, 15,000 kilometers. Its maximum safe operation depth is 250 meters. In 2006, the German Navy ordered two additional Type 212A class submarines as the second batch. These boats are 1.2 meters longer and have a new mast. Unlike the first batch, they are fitted with a new X-band Indra satellite communication system, the Atlas Electronic Integrated Sensor Underwater System with improved computers, and the Carl Zeiss OMS-100 Optronics mast with 0400 periscope. These two submarines have air conditioning designed for tropical conditions. Their sonar was redesigned, replacing the flank base with a panel antenna. They also have four-person airlock for combat swimmers. Another difference in the Batch 2 Type 212As is the TAU-2000 decoy ejection system for torpedo countermeasures, which the Batch 1 submarines do not have. On April 21, 2008, the Italian Navy ordered the third batch of the Type 212A class. Even though they have improvements, these two submarines, called NFS-1 and NFS-2, generally have the same configuration as the original ones to reduce maintenance costs. They will be commissioned in 2027 and 2029. In 2022, the Italian Navy also signed a contract for another Type 212A based on the design of the previous two submarines. Italy plans to commission the third submarine, NFS-3, at the end of 2030. Another contract was signed in 2023 for a fourth optional boat. The NFS or Tadara Batch 3 class submarines will have submarine launch cruise missile capability. 
the Type 212 CD is further refinement of the Type 212A with an improved propulsion system, including a next-generation AIP system, increased speed and range, improved self-defense capabilities and redesigned hull form. Germany and Norway will commission two and four submarines of this class, respectively. According to a Der Spiegel article published in 2015, the second batch of the Type 212A class submarines of the German Navy had massive problems with the wave system, the traction battery, the radar and the Callisto radio buoy, so they were not operational. Also, the extractor hood on the stove was too small to handle cooking smoke. The German Navy announced in the same year that the problems were largely resolved. But also, the German Type 212As suffered a low rate for combat readiness. After an accident on October 22, 2017, in Norway, all of the six boats were no longer operational. Due to budget cuts, the German Navy did not have enough spare parts and reserve stocks. These problems have been solved with some minor modifications and spending more money. Many sources claim that the Type 212As are one of the best or even the best air-independent diesel-electric submarines. They are remarkably silent and stealthy. These submarines have state-of-art electronics and weapons. There are so many videos and articles about it. However, its modern counterparts also have these features. So, let's put the comparison of one another aside and focus on different subjects. Germany plans to test many innovative solutions with the potential to change underwater warfare concepts with the Type 212A class. Since they do not have any air defense system, the biggest threat to the submarines is the aircraft and helicopters. To solve this problem, many solutions have been tried. For example, the Soviet Navy fitted its submarines with manpads. However, since they had to be surfaced to send a missile to an aircraft, this solution was never satisfactory. Besides, the Royal Navy and Israeli Navy briefly tested the short-range TV-guided blowpipe missile in the 1970s. In the 1990s, Germany worked on the Polyfin missile launched from a submerged submarine. But this project was cancelled in 2003. Now, this country is working on the IDES. This missile takes its name from the initials of Interactive Defense and Attack System. It is based on the IRIS-T air-to-air missile and can be fired from a submerged Type 212A. The fiber optic guided IDES has a range of about 40 kilometers. It is still under development. Germany is also considering fitting its Type 212As with a 30mm autocannon mounted on the triple M mast. Thanks to the system called Murena, the submarines can attack nearby air and surface targets within a range of 3,200 meters while submerged. Today, modern submarines can launch torpedoes with over 50 km range. Their anti-ship missile range exceeds 100 km. However, onboard submarine sensors cannot detect a target within these ranges. So, they rely on information from other vessels and aircraft to use their weapon within the maximum capacity. But it is not always possible in a full-scale war or a distant special operation. The modular Triple M mast also offers a solution for this problem. It can launch and recover three Aladdin unmanned aerial vehicles for long-range reconnaissance missions. Yet, the works on the Triple M have not made it beyond the concept phase so far. Even though the IDAS and Triple M are not ready or will never be realized, these projects can change underwater warfare concepts. Now, the naval planners know that the supremacy of aerial vehicles over the submarines will end soon. Also, they will have the attack capability on a target even though there will be no vessel or aircraft nearby to find the enemy. The Type 212A class is leading this change. According to our analysis, these features make it more valuable than how much it is silent and stealthy. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.